Up first, we're going to start with the Saints of Carroll College. And Dan per Pearson is the new head coach. He played with the Saints. And uh, coach, you got to tell us what's you just coached professional basketball in the Netherlands. What do you like best about the Netherlands? Well, I didn't coach in the Netherlands, but uh, I was in Denmark. Uh, Denmark, that's what I meant. Yeah, uh, de listen, de Denmark was great. All of Europe was awesome. We were we were in Denmark and Germany and, and England. Um, but to give you a little bit of a bone there, I was on the, uh, the women's national team with the, with the Dutch. But um, the, the, our entire European experience was fantastic. Um, just on a personal front, it was a it was a great place to live, and and my wife and I enjoyed it over there. The basketball side, um, obviously, you're you're dealing with with men at a professional level, and so there's some things that that you get to develop that uh, that didn't happen when I was coaching at the the college level. So now it's nice to kind of swing that back. But um, enjoyed our time over in Europe, but excited to be back home in Montana. And Dan, who do you have with you today? This is James Lang. Coach, tell us about. Uh your staff this season yeah well uh, staff i think we we got really fortunate um you know i'm going to be in a unique situation to to be sitting alongside another head coach um brad schmidt was the the head coach the last six years over at central wyoming um previously he was at montana state billings as an assistant coach um and so Brad, because of life's dynamic, brought him over to Helena, and we were able to snag him on the on the staff. Um, we're, we're also joined with our new JV program, uh, a young buck out of Indiana named Blake Isaacs, who's um, hungry and cutting his teeth and, and bringing a little bit of uh, recruitment capacity for us from uh, Indiana. Some some space that uh, obviously with the old connections with Carson Cunningham, it's a place for us to have a little bit more of a, a foothold with as well. And then uh, actually a unique addition, but you know, a, a super quality basketball mind. Uh, Father Mark Lenneman, the the old chaplain at Carroll College, has joined the staff now that he's up at the cathedral and has a little bit more time on his hands. But uh, we're really fortunate with being able to have all the hands on deck. Coach, tell us about uh, some of your returning players, some of your top recruits. Yeah, I mean, for, for us, you know, obviously there was quite a few guys that uh, from the last year's group that um, are playing in different places now. I think uh, overall there was – eight saints from last year that are no longer with us, um, two to graduation, five to, uh, uh, five to transfers. And so, you know, on some level that, that will eat up quite a bit of our age, but we're, we're really fortunate with the amount of juniors that are kind of stepping in the lineup. Um, James Lang, um, sitting here with me, obviously was a, a big piece of the puzzle last year for the guys. Um, Isaiah Moore, uh, as somebody who I think is, is really ready both on a, on a skills front and physically uh, to take a step into that upperclassman situation. Um, Derek Kramer, I think, again, is another one who's, as a sophomore, was starting to bud, but now his athleticism, his physical capacity, um, a really solid skill set. Um, those guys are, are older classmen that, that are returning, that bring some age. Uh, Murad uh, has been here for like eight years now. So obviously he brings some age for us as well. Um, so we, we have some age coming back despite uh, the amount of players that we lost. Um, and then so far, I mean, we, we're pretty fortunate with, um, we think the youth that we've been able to bring in. Uh, Kellen Harrison out of Bozeman is fantastic. I mean, the, the thing that I tell everyone about Kellen is, is the kid's a winner. And, and you see him working with our guys and everything he does gives you the foundations for a culture moving forward that uh, that is the type of culture that we want. Um, Isaac Round out of uh, Great Britain. I coached him when I was coaching outside London. Um, he was playing with the men with our academy based program as well. Um, and the kids ready to go. I mean, I think that's the, the benefit of having somebody who's been playing three years with professional basketball. So Isaac's coming in, going to give us uh, some significant pop. And then even somebody like Isaiah Crane, who was with the team last year, uh, but was a, uh, a red shirt. Uh, he's come in and he showed right away that I think he's going to be a, a very competent starting point guard in the league. Um, a couple transfers that have been coming in, some injuries and sicknesses to, to see kind of working through with uh, three of our junior college transfers. Um, but so far it's, uh, it's been really good from their front too. Coach, tell me about your non-conference schedule and when does your season get underway? 
Yeah, we got uh, November 1st, our first game, Bushnell at home. Um, right away after them, we've we've got Southern Oregon, Eastern Oregon, Oregon Tech, uh, four games to start off um, at home, which is great for us. Um, then we're on the road over at Montana Tech for a weekend, down in College of Idaho for a weekend. And then we finish up the non-conference with uh, four more games at home. So uh, for us to be able to get eight home games in the PE Center is huge. Um, it's a good opportunity for us to, to stay local. Um, so that's a, it's good for us to be able to get eight at home. Coach, how has the conference changed from when you played? Now it's gotten smaller. Um, <laughs> but I mean, you know, every, every year you, you see, um, just the style of basketball shift. Um, I mean, I, we've always kind of considered frontier conference, you know, somewhat of a copycat league. And so there was, there was the generation when I came in where, you know, everyone was playing traditional blocker mover and then Westminster had some influence on the Princeton style. And then, you know, there was a little bit of influence from coach Keller to get some dribble drive. And so every single year, um, you, you've seen a stylistic shift that kind of seems to take over the league, you know, being away for the last eight years, it's coming back and it just looks different. The style of basketball is just different than what I remember it. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, we're pretty present. So I haven't spent a ton of time looking to what the, the style of basketball was last year. Um, obviously the six team conference and being able to be in that meat grinder of playing everyone three times a load that you have to prepare for mentally, um, way different than, than having nine teams that you're, you're seeing twice. Um, but the guys have been through that. Um, I just came from a space where we played some teams like six times because of <laughs> the impact of cups. And so, um, we, we kind of understand the unique dynamic of playing teams more than twice. Coach, uh, well said. Open up for questions for Carroll College. Daniel, go ahead, please. Hey, guys. Uh, Daniel Shepard with uh, 406 Sports. Uh, James, I just wanted to ask you what, what you're maybe most excited for about this this upcoming season. Yeah, I think the most exciting is just getting out there and playing someone other than ourselves. We've been beating ourselves up for three, four weeks. I think we're all looking forward to this uh, November 1st date against Bushnell, kind of just getting out there and uh, showcasing what we've been building on and working on uh, throughout these uh, this last month. So uh, I think we have a great group of guys out here that can um, that will prove to the, the community uh, that we, uh, we're a top team in Frontier. I think we're just we're excited to get out there and, and just show everyone um, our offense and defense and uh, how the season's going to turn out for us. Daniel, do you have a follow up question? Um, I'll let Jack go first. Yeah, James, I was just going to ask, obviously, with a new head coach, a, a lot of people are curious on what Coach Pearson's like. I just how would you describe uh, your guys uh -huh. new uh, coach to someone who maybe would, doesn't know him yet? Uh, I'd say very energetic guy. He's, uh, uh able to, uh, you're able to communicate off the court, on the court, talk basketball, not talk basketball, just, um, everyday life opportunities. You can talk with him and he's going to get on you on the court, which makes us a better team altogether. And he's going to push us as well as the other coaching staff, uh, members. They're just going to push you to get, uh, to be the best that you are. And I think that's going to be very beneficial in the long run for, uh, Carroll College. Daniel, go ahead with your follow-up. Uh, Dan, I was just curious if I, if I heard you right that Isaiah Crane might be um, kind of in a, in a position to, to start at point guard, and if so, uh, what you've seen from him to to um, allow him to take over that role, I guess. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I probably am speaking a little too bit early on that one. I mean, we for us, um, <laughs> our starting lineup and, and who, who we put on the court first is, is going to be a factor of a lot of different dynamics in there. But uh, Isaiah has, has proven right away that that that's that seat is not something that is is outside his reach. I mean, we've got we've got some competitive guards um, for for where we're at right now. But it's always a, a bit of a highlight when you see a freshman coming in and, and you can see him being, you know, one of your top playmakers, one of your higher scorers. Um, those things in terms of the promise moving forward. Um, Isaiah's got a capacity. Um, to, to really score in small spaces. I've been super impressed with him uh, in pick and roll dynamics, finishing around the rim, playing with both hands. Um, and then his pace and transition for us has been fantastic. Like that's been something that we've emphasized early 
is that we want to play fast. And, and, you know, Crane has kind of stepped in that space immediately as somebody who wants to initiate that. So that's been a big positive for him. Um, I'm super thrilled to be able to walk into somebody who's, you know, game ready in his spot. Are there other questions from members of the media? We Coach, still got five minutes. Coach yeah. Dan, favorite food in Denmark? Oh, man. I, their open face sandwiches are good. The Danish food sucked, though. The, uh, the English food wasn't that good either. Germans, though, the, the Germans, like, uh, that that one, they, they, they've got a knack for soups. Whenever we were on the road, it was felt like you were getting a different type of soup in Germany. That was, like, your new favorite. But, uh, I don't know. The Danes, they, they did some interesting things with fish that I think sometimes hit it well and sometimes it was a hard pass. So um, I didn't take home any Danish recipes though. <laughs> Anybody have any more questions for Carroll College? I'm going to ask Coach Pearson a quick question. You, you referenced, you know, the league's a little smaller when you, when you were playing, but uh, we are bringing back uh, Dickinson State as well as some additional schools over in the Dakotas and Nebraska. Talk to us a little bit about your impressions of not only about this year, but in future years and how that affects how you prepare and recruit. Yeah. I mean, I, definitely on the preparation side, it shifts a lot of stuff. I mean, this is going to be the type of season where um, you walk in and, and you call a set and the entire bench from the opposition is going to be talking through what's happening because you're going to know each other that well. Um, and, and it's going to force a, a style of basketball where you, you have to be able to, to organically play and, you know, have your counter reads and everything that goes with that. Once you start expanding it, some of that comes back a little bit more um, where I think that you can play in more of a set based system. I, I mean, to, to say that uh, anyone that's playing a set based system now will find success. It's not necessarily that, but you'll have a little bit more capacity um, to get away with that. Whereas when you're seeing someone as frequently as you are right now, um, you're, you're not hiding anything. Once you expand it back to that other space, you got to show up defensively with some principles and have it be pretty set to your identity because uh, it's hard to prepare for 10 different teams. Thank you. Rocky, if, if um, there are no other questions, we can uh, move to Providence and we can dismiss James and coach and, and we can move on. Thanks, Thank James. Thanks, coach.